my new pedal board from Goodwood Audio has arrived and I cannot wait to get started to put all these things together. Uh, as you can probably tell from the labyrinthine mess of cables, I would not have been able to do this myself. I have tried to put together a big board, a PT Pro before and there's, there were a lot of issues. My, you know, some cables weren't working very well. Uh, my power, I was trying to share power between uh, eight pedals on one um, outlet of the 4x4 by, by, by Voodoo Labs and things just weren't seated very well on my pedal board. I'm going to put this thing together and we shall see what kind of improvement there is. I am excited. So these five pedals on top are going up to the board as is as are excuse me the Strymon Trinity pedals. I'm gonna have a total of like 16 pedals on the board. Let's see how we can get this wired up and tidied up. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mikey and Gran for putting together this monster of a pedal board. It took over six months of correspondence, many emails and phone conversations to reach this final design. I must have sent over eight or nine different layout pictures using pedalplayground.com to Mikey. The best thing about Goodwood Audio is the level of communication between Mikey and I. Our every correspondence, whether by mail or by phone, was friendly and informal. I felt like I was speaking to my fellow gearhead friends in a casual conversation, but on a wholly different professional level. Mikey also helped me get in touch with CNC cases. Between CNC receiving the dimensions from Mikey and them sending over the board and the case, I can only imagine they must have been working around the clock to get this done. What struck me the most was that none of my ideas were ever shot down. Mikey and Gran really took time to consider all my queries and requests. Nothing was too stupid or far-fetched. And if there was truly a ridiculous request, Mikey would be so patient to explain the technical difficulties with the proposed design and why it would be a really bad idea to pull it off. Twenty odd iterations later, we arrived at a final design and it was time that my pedals found a permanent home. I've been trying to get my Strymon Nixie to work and it seems that we need to do a software update and a firmware update on all the pedals. So I'm going to spend some time to make sure that these pedals get updated so I can use Nixie to do some preset editing as I've always wanted. Uh, guys. Okay, to put two pedals down, EP's down, boss down, ISP down. I think the power supply just died. Um, I need some help guys Okay, two things I gotta troubleshoot now power supply the Ohi seems to be down so Five pedals there are down the two disaster controllers the EQ my decimeter and the EP booster are both down and I was having some trouble updating the Mobius to the latest firmware But we shall see what happens after I update the timeline because um, all these three pedals should be updated to latest firmware. Now that I've got all three devices updated, what should happen when I plug out this MIDI in cable and put in the uh, UX16 cables, the MIDI out goes into the MIDI in of Mobius. This has a MIDI chain from here to the timeline to the big sky and the MIDI in cable should go out to the MIDI out of the big sky. 
So let's see what happens. Um, the midi train was supposed to be Mobius Timeline Big Sky, but instead it became Timeline Mobius Big Sky. And this happened, and I noticed because I plugged out the midi in cable uh, and put this as the first in the train. And it seems like the loop is Timeline Mobius Big Sky. So, oh well. Never mind, there's enough clearance for me to remove this pet, uh, this this uh, cable here. I managed to get back the DPC and my, I managed to get back power to my controllers and the, the three other pedals connected to the Ohi by toggling that little uh, uh, outlet from the Zuma. So that Zuma is a link out to the Ohi and once I um, pull it down, put it, push it back again. <clears throat> Power got back to my pedals, and now the board is fully powered. And I hope that this doesn't happen during the course of my gig because that will truly be disastrous. You might be asking, why do I need such a big? pedal board. It comes down to two things. Number one, control, and number two, versatility. Do you need more control? And do you want your board to sound as versatile as possible? A bigger pedal board allows you to have both control and versatility to your sound. Just like building a house, foundations are very important. In a pedalboard build, regardless of its size, the two things you cannot get away from and you shouldn't skip on are the power supply and the cabling, because these two things directly contribute to noise in the rig. Good quality power supplies and cabling are expensive, but they will pay for themselves in quiet operation and durability. To address my control needs, I needed a comprehensive switching system I needed the ability to bring different pedals in and out of my signal chain, as well as the ability to make MIDI program changes to change the presets on my Strymon pedals. To address my needs to be versatile, not only did I want to have the quintessential overdrive sound with four different overdrive pedals, but I also needed tone sculptors, compression, clean boost, which is a, like a preamp for me and the EQ pedal which is important for me because I tweak my overall rig sound according to the venue. And of course, you can't go wrong with Strymon pedals. Here is my final thought on building a pedal board system. Don't invest in gear if your ultimate goal is to beat the guy next to you in an arms race for the biggest pedal board. You should feel good about the pedals that you use in your own system. So. Ultimately, how do you feel about your pedal board? If it makes you feel better, you will end up playing better. I hope you've enjoyed listening and watching this video as much as I had producing it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. This is Justin signing off.